Because if one of these uh, skateboards or ski boards, whatever they're called, hit a person, they'd break their leg because they're just like a missile. And most of them have no brakes on them. So uh, nobody is allowing them on any of the mountains around. What is the scariest thing that exists on planet Earth? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Do you know? I, I could tell you, but I want you to guess. Comment down below. What are you most scared of? What is your biggest fear in life? Is it heights? Is it spiders? Is it snakes? Is it drowning? Is it fire? What is it? What is it? I don't know. You have to tell me. That's why I'm asking you. I can't know what your biggest fear is. I'll tell you what my biggest fear is. A f***ing rogue Karen. Hello everyone, I'm Jack of the Juke Squad, here to entertain you through all of quarantine, because I guess I I live in Florida, so I forgot that COVID existed, but apparently it does, and people are still locked down and whatnot, so I have to keep you entertained. It is my job, it is my duty as a human to make sure that you are okay. Are you okay? I love you. I love you. you the world is great. Look outside. Enjoy it a little bit. To me, there is nothing scarier than a Karen, because Karens do not possess logic or reason. There is no logic in this place. They'll yell at you for just about anything. Do not skateboard on the sidewalk. She owns the sidewalk. She also owns the ocean. Don't go, don't be in, you better not go in Karen's ocean. You better not go in her backyard. You better not do anything that she doesn't like, which is everything. So your very existence is currently pissing off. Karen's all over the world. It's terrifying. I have here the earliest footage ever captured and ever recorded of a Karen. This is the 1985 Karen. This footage was pulled out of the archives. I find it hilarious. I also have real trouble believing that people like this exist. So, you know, Karens don't like anything that's different. They don't like anything at all in general, ever. But in this instance, this is a very unique, awesome video from when snowboarding was created. Surfers got bored and they wanted to surf other things when there weren't waves, so they surfed mountains. They created surfboards to ride down mountains and all the skiers didn't like it, mainly because skiers compared to snowboarders are little generally speaking. Now, while Karen is a more recently popular phrase, their species has existed for years and years on planet Earth. Ever since the first hung legend made a wheel, Karen was there to tell him that it was a bad idea and that it would never work and that he sucks at everything. If you look deep enough into the internet, you will find some internet gold. This video is titled Skiers vs. Snowboarders 1985 and well, I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself because it's absolutely fucking beautiful. Roll it. Because they're missiles. They cause, they cause nothing but problems those things do. This is what all the fuss is about. It's like snow surfing. An idea that originated in, where else, California. Some kid asked some old guy, Karen number one, why, why don't you want us on the mountain? And he said, because they're missiles. They cause nothing but problems. It's been around for almost a decade in the United States, and now it's becoming the trendy thing to do on our local ski slopes. But the operators of the hills want them off. Uh, the skiers, we try and keep them separated, but the s snowboards come down the slopes and they'll go right in between the skiers and we'll kick them off and they'll just lip us off. And they're dangerous because if one of these bo uh, skateboards or ski boards, whatever they're called, hit a person, they'd break their leg because they're just like a missile. And most of them have no brakes on them. So uh, nobody is allowing them on any of the mountains around. But where there's a will, there's always a way. The first thing that we need to acknowledge here is this little girl falling. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The first thing that I'd like to say is we should not trust a word that this man says because he can't even see. How do we expect to believe his stories when his eyes are never open? So. Ski hill operators refuse to let anyone with a snowboard onto the chairlift, so they have to hike to the top of the mountain and then find a secluded ski trail where they won't get caught. So this was actually a point in time where, where they didn't let snowboarders go up the chairlift. The ski patrol says it's got its hands full. Quite a, quite a lot of them are uncooperative. Um, some of them have had a little bit to drink and uh, smart Alex 
You know, you go up and approach them in a very calm, collect manner, and they, they tend to lip you off. You ask them very nicely to leave, that they're endangering the public and possibly themselves. And they, uh, they swear at you, they tell you to get lost, mind your own business. So it's quite a problem for us, really. I think the major problem with the snowboards is that they run into people. You know, they can't see behind them. And when you get skiers and snowboarders together on a run, you're looking for trouble. But the snowboarders don't see it that way. You got this powder strap right here, it holds you on like a brake. Your board can't go any more than three feet away from where you are. Skiers have brakes on their skis or straps about the same thing. So why are these people upset then? I don't know, they just don't like how it looks. They think it's dangerous. They don't want no new equipment or anything, probably up there, some gadget or something. Skiing is the same way, you know. People, you know, they get on skis and they just think they can overcome the world and they just head down most, you know, their capacity and they hurt other people just like a snowboard. I think they should let them give them a trial run and uh, let them try them out and see how they go and if they have a high fatality rate with them, they should take them off. Even if snowboarding is just another California fad, the people who work on local ski hills say one season is one too many. They they don't see our point, they only see their own point and it's sort of a tunnel vision of a, of a sort. They don't see our point, they only see their own point. Like, dude, like, has anyone ever been more of a hypocrite in all of history? In all of recorded history, has anyone, any one man, been more of a hypocrite than this guy? If we learned anything here today, it's that it's okay to be different. People are allowed to be different as long as they aren't hurting anyone. What I just said, that that dude is a missile. missile. We need to ban these things. Wow, I I could you know yeah yeah let's get let's get these snowboarders out of here. I'm not gonna I'm not making a snowboarding vlog right now. I wasn't just on a mountain being a missile myself, running into every small woman, man, and child that existed on the mountain. I them there was no mountain left after me. I shredded it to all shredded it to pieces. So if you enjoyed the quick commentary, drop a like. I like sharing stuff like this with you guys. I'm gonna try to get commentaries out like every two days and just start cranking out some content to see if YouTube's algorithm fixes itself and we start getting views again. I really do enjoy making YouTube videos. It's my favorite thing ever is making videos for you guys. But YouTube is paying me less than they ever have in history. So if you want to like leave a tip here on YouTube. Subscribe, leave a comment, check out these Pit Vipers. Go to Juke Squad, code Juke Squad 10, discount code, on pitvipersunglasses.com, or you can go to jukesquad.com and you can pick up some merch. I, the merch is dope. I think you're really going to like it. It's really high quality, too. And that's about it. Stay tuned. We're building a fossil farm. You guys are going to be able to come hunt for megalodon teeth with us. I'm really excited about it. Imagine like 600 of these things. Like. Dude, I got a big dude. I'm like six foot three. I got big ass hands. Bigger hands than you. Ask your mother. Oh, oh, oh it's f***ed up, Jack. You're a dick. Go to bed. Thanks for watching. See, rolling around, sitting on doves. Can't my hours how truck. Cooling in my Escalade. Man, I'm paid. I got it made. Take me to your special place. Close your eyes, show me your face.